great. I'd like to call this meeting to order. Uh, the Waitley Select Board, December 27th, 2022. Thanks for your patience. We were having a little trouble with the recording. Uh, not the recording, the broadcast is going out without sound, but uh, the recording will have sound, so we'll be good on that. Uh, the first item on the agenda is to review and vote to approve the meeting minutes from December 13th, 2022. Uh, to Julie or, or Fred, do you have any comments on those meeting minutes? Nope. Okay. Move to approve the minutes. Okay, I'll second, second. that. <laughs> uh, all those in favor, Julie? Yes. Me? Yes. Fred? Yes. All right. Uh, next are vendor of payroll, payroll warrants. Um, and I no signed those earlier. Any comments, Julia? Julie? Nope. Okay, great. Uh, number three um, is public comment. Comments from the public related to items not listed on the agenda. Um, is there anyone, there's no one in the room uh, that falls into that category. Uh, and I don't know everyone who's on there, but uh, is anyone on the Zoom call wishing to say something in the public comment period? Okay, I'm not seeing any raised hands or people frantically pressing the unmute button on their side. So I'll take it that we're, we're clear on public comment. Okay, our first item is a scheduled appointment. Um, we've got the folks from Toro Verde in uh, about the host community agreement um, and just looking for an extension on that, if I understand correctly. Um, does anybody want to say anything about that? Yes, hi, uh, good, good evening. My name is Taylor Lovejoy. I'm the attorney for Toro Verde, Massachusetts 3, which I guess I'll just refer to as Toro 3 for ease of, of speaking here. Um, I appreciate you all letting us on the agenda. The HDA is set to lapse at the end of this year. Um, so we are just looking for an extension to kick that out another year. We are in the process of a third party sale Right now, um, there was a sale that was ongoing last year that was undergoing a change of control process. That sale ultimately fell through post change of control and there's been no final license issued yet. So we are now in the process of selling to a new buyer and the change of control process will pick up at the beginning of next year. We anticipate that to be done by the spring and for that new third party buyer, which is an entity that's coming in from Maryland and has some experience in the space in a variety of different states, both on the Eastern seaboard and throughout the country, um, that retail operations will pick up shortly thereafter. They've got an established brand. And as I, as I mentioned, they've got experience in the space and Toro Verde is just looking to pass along the entity as was the plan all along. But um, as I said, the prior sale fell through and now, and now we're undergoing this one. So, we're just looking to, to kick things out another year. Okay. Go ahead. I've got no particular questions, Tim. You yeah. covered it. I mean, this should, this should be the agreement we'd want a, a new entity to sign anyway. So extending it for a year does not seem uh, to be a problem for I'm me. Julie? Oh, yeah, I have a question about on um, maybe I'm looking at. I think I'm looking at the amended and restated signed HCA. Um, oh, it was signed previously. I'm sorry, I thought I was looking at a new one, but it says shall be for a five year period. So I had a question about if you're kicking it out for a year, shouldn't the text say one year? Right, so this is for a particular, so the five year period is not an, an issue in and of itself. What's an issue is that section three of the amended and restated HCA states that it will lapse if the company doesn't obtain a final license Got by it. a certain date. Yep. The, last, the last year, there was an amendment that was signed by the town that kicked it out to December 31, 2022. So uh -huh. we'd be looking for the same thing, December 31, 2023. Got it. Okay. No further questions from me then. Thank you. Okay. I would entertain a motion on this. I would move that we uh, approve the extension of the existing host community agreement for an additional year. Second. Okay, great. Um, 
And I guess we need a roll call vote. Uh, I'll go this way first. Fred? Yes. Julie? Yes. Me? Yes. Okay. Well, I think we're good on that. Um, thank under, you. Under thank COVID. You. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thanks for coming. Thank, thank you. you, Taylor. Um, uh, the next item is uh, COVID-19, and just a reminder to everybody that rapid tests are available at the town offices if you need any rapid tests. Um, we've got nothing posted under old business and new business, but there's a few items under town administrator updates. Um, so I'm going to hand over to Brian. Yep. Um, I'll start with, with uh, the last two, actually. Um, so the town hall storm window issue that we've been dealing with almost since the, the windows have been installed is there's this pink iridescent staining that seems to be um, increasing, we'll call it, on the, on the, the storm windows that were installed. Um, so we, and this goes back probably about geez, 10 months, if not 12 months since we filed a complaint, uh, complaint um, you know, a warranty claim with the, yeah. with the I guess it's the, it's not the person who makes it, it's the radio. Right. Yeah. sales people mm -hmm. um but they're not the manufacturers of the windows um and we've been trying to figure out um what to do um mm -hmm. and they want to investigate what's causing the issue it's pretty widespread it's probably on nearly all the windows now um so we're going to be uh sending to them a sample of the glass so we'll take out one of this one of the sashes maybe two of the sashes and we'll ship those um to whoever their expert is to try to figure out what's going on whether it's something that can be you know easily repaired on the windows or whether um it's some other uh, bigger issue that would require the replacement of the glass we'll have to find out but we're still working through that process okay um, so we'll be we'll be doing that if you see a missing storm window from the town hall it's it's okay um we can put a little bit of that you know 3m Right. Wrap up instead for a temporary storm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're still trying to figure that issue out. And so the Hurley Heap, and then the next one is Hurley Heap Park Restroom Accessibility Project. Um, the select board approved the, the agreement with uh, Cornerstone Building. And we have, I actually have the agreement um, for the board to sign out in the hallway. They okay. agreed to the terms of the contract. Mm -hmm. And we're just trying to work through when they're going to start that work. Um, so that needs to, that needs to be completed by really by the end of May okay. is when the, is when the grant funds um, yeah. wrap up. So that's where that is. Um, Hannah, do you want to talk about the municipal digital equity planning grant award? Yeah. Um, so we've been approved to participate in the municipal digital equity planning, uh, progress pro or project, excuse me. Um, I have meetings set up with both consultants that were recommended by the program uh, to discuss town goals. Um, both of those are coming up. The one with RCOG is coming up this week, and the one with the Broadband Equity Partnership is coming up next week. Um, that's due to begin in March, um, as long as it goes according to plan. Um, I think we'll have more clarity after I speak with the consultants. Okay. okay. Um, something not listed. Um, there, uh, the building inspector received a letter from uh, Bay State Blasting saying that their lease, nego lease nego negotiations with um, a company called Maxim had fallen through and they're no, no longer pursuing that site for um, any sort of construction services with that company. Mm -hmm. um, this is 71 Chestnut Plain, right? Yeah, 71 Chestnut Plain. Mm -hmm. yep. So that's so, something that came here today. Oh. Very, very recent. So I wonder how that impacts what they've been doing or what they've been reported to have been doing for the last, I don't know, weeks or months. Right. In my mind, that doesn't, that doesn't, there still needs to be some yeah. follow up as to right. what happened or is continuing to happen. Yeah, what happened and what, or, yeah. Was this with regard to the magazines? Is it that? Uh, it's regard um, the, the, this development. It was in regards to future use of the site for um, some type of um, emulsifier bin in yeah, the explosives okay. industry. Uh, 
but there's I think there's still issues in terms of what's happening yeah physically with the site so yeah okay yeah all right and then I'll try to keep it very short right um well that's the only things listed on here is there anything else we need to chat about um, um I guess we could share Hannah's news yeah but that Hannah is taking off for um more eastern pastures but yeah I don't have any like I, I don't I don't have like a a crying emoji here for that you but know yeah. I feel the same way <laughs> yeah yeah, I have a lot of gratitude for having had the opportunity to work with Waitley. I think it's been a marvelous experience. Um, and yeah. now I have the opportunity to explore working for a... <laughs> you got it! <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's how I feel, too. Yeah. I've got that one. That's the one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm putting in my resignation. Um, my last day will be January 12th. Um, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for the opportunity to work with Waitley. It's been a really wonderful experience. Well, good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you think so. And, and like, call all your friends and tell them to apply for your job. Yeah, <laughs> I will. <Thank> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was reflecting today that with Lynn Sibley retiring and you retiring, um, I'm pretty sad about both of those things, and I congratulate you on your new position, but I also think for a, a small town like Waitley to have the personnel that we have and have had, uh, we're we're lucky. We're yeah. lucky, and you're part of making us lucky, so thank you. That's so kind. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Okay. Yeah, it's been wonderful. So if we don't have to like vote, if we don't vote to accept her resignation, that means she has <laughs> <laughs> that means she can't go. See <laughs> if she comes back. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So it's not really a matter that we have to vote on. We just no. regretfully no. accept your resignation and wish mm -hmm. you the best in uh, in Somerville. Yeah. Right. In Somerville. Wow. wow. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Really you're you're not moving out there, are you? Or, or are you planning to move to the east? No, it's mostly remote. Oh, Actually, okay. It'll be nice. Yeah. So I'll still be in the area. And actually, my friends will still be hosting those events at the town hall. So you haven't seen the last of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, all right. Well, then I don't see anything else on the agenda. Our next meeting is scheduled for the 10th. And then the one after that, the 31st. I don't if we have anything else to chat about, we will Julie Turner. I will second that. Um, all those in favor, Julie? Yes. Fred? Yes. Joyce? Yes. All right. Well, good night, everybody. Good night. Happy New Year, everyone. Good night. Happy New Take Year. Take care, everyone. <laughs>